to another video. Um, in this video we're going to be going over how you can think about winners and losers uh, in a different way. So most traders will think about winners and losers in terms of risk reward, uh, percentages, uh, pips or you know currency in terms of uh, monetary amount. Um, and in this video I'm going to be going over a way that you can think of it a little bit differently that might help some traders that do have uh, difficulty with emotion in trading. So maybe uh, you know, you're know you in a good trade, you're, you know you're in a good trade, and then you close it due to seeing one of those things, either percentages, risk reward, uh, monetary amount, or pips. Um, so the way that I'm gonna kind of go over this is um, it's gonna be a very, very short video uh, explaining how I applied this also to our FTMO test. Um, so break this down a little bit. Let's say you have 10% drawdown. Uh, what I can do is just dip it. So let's say your your max drawdown is uh, 10%. Let's say you risk 0.5% per trade. So risk per trade equals 0.5% and you gain per trade or per winning trade 1% you now have 20 trades until you hit your max drawdown okay so now you're thinking it in terms of trades not in terms of percentages not in terms of risk reward it's just uh, 20 trades so if you were to um, lose a trade you would then be down to 19 trades left does that make sense but if you were to win one trade you'd be back at 21 trades left so you can think of it in terms of this where you think of it in terms of trades not in terms of percentages um, you think of it in terms of if this trade wins I will then have 21 trades left until I hit my max drawdown um and that that can help um it does help sometimes when you're dealing with bigger numbers i know that you know a big number to uh me will obviously be different to you um but whatever that is using this could help you do that um now some of the numbers are obviously going to change but um set a max drawdown in your head so whatever that might be whether you're trading for a firm whether you're trading your own capital or a private investor, you should have a max drawdown. And then you can calculate how many trades it's going to take you to hit that max drawdown. And then you can say, okay, if this wins, we then get X amount of trades. Or if this loses, we are down to this many trades. Um, so I hope this helped. It's a very, very short video. Um, if it did help, hit the like button. Um, also, if you want to keep up with all the other videos that we're coming out with on the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support us on Patreon, uh, that would be amazing as well. Get those different perks. And um, yeah, I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video.